second after ending the last video, I start this one. Hello, guys, how are you? I'm good. Now, this is actually something. This is a mine cart. Start the cart ride. I would love to start the cart ride. Now, important thing. If you go into 3D here, you actually don't run out of a thing. But, so, you can see this whole thing in 3D, but that's not the only reason you want to go to 3D. Because, well, I'll show you why. You're gonna be a mine. You're gonna be in a mine car, and I don't really want to risk this. But there's, it's gonna split path. Now, if you go in 2D, you won't notice the split path. There'll be a hole in the wall, but you won't actually notice the path splitting. But if you go to the end of this, normally all you'll be in is in a small room with a bunch of brainwashed kragens, and that's not gonna all that. There's nothing in there. Like you could probably get some some fruits, and I, I just realized that this is not the one I was thinking of. So, uh, keep what I just said, hold that, and save it for later. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty simple, actually. We are actually are where we need to go. Go to 3D, we can get here. We could have just gone under, but... And this is a card. This is a... Spania card. Those, those are the spike things. But you should know from Paper Mario there's a thousand year door. Uh-oh. And, uh, this is kind of a risky area, it's just, go to 3D, there are more of them in 3D, like, like, not more of them, but like, you know, ones you couldn't see in 2D, you know what I mean. So, another Boomer 3D puzzle, uh, and, yeah, we dropped him off, but he magically comes back up. And up here we find one of the guys that uh, Flint Cragley was missing. And his name is Monzo. You're one of that Cragley gentleman's crew members. He requested your return. What? You know director? <laughs> so that where he was. And of course he's a caveman. And caveman do not know grammar. I just said caveman do not know grammar. Cavemen do not know grammar. Cavemen do not know grammar and neither does Luke. Okay. And you shouldn't really refer to yourself in it third person. So there we go, more. And, uh, if you're wondering about that right there, well, that's just where the catch card was, so don't worry about it if you've already gotten the catch card from being down there. But you might not have. So we did one of the guys. Now, that was actually probably the one we are supposed to get second. The first door, I think, is when we missed when we were going up in, uh, Cave Heaven. <laughs> These cart rides are kind of annoying because they take a while. You know, it's fun the first time, but then after that, like, oh. You can actually do it without, uh, without, uh, the cart, but it takes a lot longer. Like, you can skip, like, the loops and stuff by going to 3D. But, yeah, it's designed so that you don't need the cart. That's really cool. You do actually do, you do need the cart for one of them that's coming up, because, like, it goes upside down, and you can't do that. Like, not just a loop, but actually, like, Flips. You'll, you'll see. And you can't do that without a card. So hopefully I find this one I missed and this does not turn into another fail. It's not to the right. This is the very end of the room. So let's uh, use carry so that we can move faster. So we got the Spania card and we have power to jump on them. I got to take advantage of this opportunity, and I got it. I took a hit. You're dead. Wow. How about we hit one before it hits us? Probably oh, couldn't do it to that one, and that's a catch card. Now, you can actually get more than one catch card for enemy. So, I'm actually going to uh, use a... Use a super super shake. 20. Not 10, 20, so no need to use anything else. Uh-oh. I think that was just the one that was blocked by the rock earlier, but... Gotta check. Is it? Yeah. All Tippy would say is, that's a door! She can't see through walls. She can detect hidden objects, but she can't see through walls. I don't really know which one I'd rather have. And yes, this is the door that we we actually missed this one because we were up in cave heaven. 
But now we get it. So it doesn't matter the order. Doesn't matter the order when you do things. It should never matter the order. Like, if the game actually does suggest a specific order, it's one thing. Oh, we just missed it. We just missed a freaking thing. Luckily, this one's short, but, well, there you go. So, yeah, you can see that you have to go into 3D there, but. Uh, there we go. And yes, I was actually making a reference to the Skyward Sword bug, which I didn't even know about the first time, I guess. If I knew about it, I'd be more paranoid. The Skyward Sword bug. I didn't even know there was one, but... I mean, I'm really lucky. I'm lucky I got the Thunder Dragon last, right? Like, seriously, I was like... I just did them in a random order. I didn't even do them in the guidebook suggested order. I'm like, I did it in a random order. I actually did do the volcano one before I did the forest one. Now, apparently, I don't think that that alone causes it. I think you have to talk to... whatever that guy's name is. Goss. It's not Goss. It's something like that. Golo. What's that it? Uh-oh. Um... So we got some Flora Sapiens and some Flora Kragnians. And uh, we almost just killed a Flora Kragnian, so that's not good. So let's uh, kill some things that will give us points. The zombie shrooms really don't give you that many points. But, you know. I don't have that many HP, but, you know. And Bowser, of course, can't climb the ladders. I thought you get funny text from that. Yeah, you do. You can't climb this. I mean, that's really something, like, as many ladders as you have to climb, like, Bowser can't climb ladders, that's something that's, really, I forget about that half the time, because I just don't even think about it, because usually you're Mario. And down here, and we get this tall skinny guy. Who are you, brah? You're one of Flint's crew members. He's looking for you. It's like him and Peach are having a tight height competition. Peach has got the crown, he's got the headphones, and then he's got that big thing. Big stick. I like to do full rotations with my stick. They see you, they attack, don't let the guard down, brah. Frag you later. Eh, that's creepy. I think it's really creepy that animals can survive without their heads. Like, on one hand, I really do want to, like, test that. I wonder if they've done that on Mythbusters. They had to have. But then again, you know... I don't know, is that too much? Like, do people really want to see a cockroach or without their head? Or a chicken without their head? Really, just a cockroach, mainly, because a cockroach can't actually survive. Basically, the only reason it couldn't survive with ever, forever without its head is because it has to eat. And, it, you know, it only needs to eat, like, once a week. But, you know, it has, like, seven or ten different breathing things, whatever. I don't really know. So... So now we go back to Flint Cragley, as we pretty much explored this entire area. Yeah, when you go 3D backwards, there's really... Uh, I'd be very shocked if we got through here without taking a hit. There's always those enemies that you can't see. But, Mario's awesome. He dodged all the enemies, which is really amazing, because there weren't any. You know, for all my, like, oh, it took so long the last time, it's probably going to take about 15 minutes this time, I'm just saying. It took 20 last time. The only reason it takes 15 In a miraculous turn of events, I was reunited with my faithful camera Kragman. But there was no time for celebration. We had to swoop to the aid of the kidnap. With danger nibbling our heels, we ventured deeper into the forbidding cave. But the last one, it was just like I was taking hits. I wasn't figuring things out. What key? Yes, genius, a key. Don't tell me you don't have it either. Uh, yeah, bro, I had key. Yes, so you do have it. No, bro, I had key, but not half key. Wow, look at caveman using grammar. You, you lost it? 
No, bro. He practically said, you lose this. So, practically, hold on to it. Practically got key, bro. Now, you might think, like, oh, they're going to ask us to look at the key. But, nope. And a reference Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door right there. And fortunately, Cragway is not like Beldum, and he just thinks the whole thing is funny. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really a big fan of Flint Cragway. Luckily, he's not like, uh, like, this, these funny characters. I really like Colorado. And, uh, like, he's really like every chapter, I mean, people say every chapter of five of Paper Mario is a funny character, like, comic relief character, like, Colorado and Flavio and then Flint Cragley. But I don't really like Flint Cragley as much as I like the other two. Like, I didn't really like Flavio that much either. The only one I really like is Colorado. So now we got our final minecart of the level. Whoa, we got some super big loops in downhill. And unfortunately, since 3D goes to the right everywhere except flop side, and we're not actually going to be able to see forward. And yeah, you can really see, sometimes half the time you forget Mario's paper. But this game, I think you actually like get, or can see it more. Like, that, yes, Mario is paper and stuff like that. But sometimes it just looks so 3D. It is 3D, but it's a 3D paper box. Like that, that's really the, the words I've been looking for to describe what Paper Mario is. 3D paper box. Awesome 3D paper box. It's funny. Paper box. Ooh, what is this? It's a star. Kind of easy to miss, but... Yeah, I, I gotta apologize, because I really didn't give enough credit, so I'm like, oh, there really aren't that many stars, but this is number six in the game. So, there's more stars in this game than there are Mega Mushrooms in New Super Mario Bros. And you can see purple uh, floor Kragnians, which are stronger, but the first time we meet them is when we have a star. That's not fair. Well, we took a hit from this guy who felt like he didn't want to die. Wait, what? What do we do? What we do? What we do? What what I miss? What we do? What I miss? Ah! So what was the point of down there? Just get extra experience to the star? Yeah, the reason I didn't miss this before, you know, failed recording was because I had to... It's because I didn't find the star. So... <coughs> Anyway, we did level up, actually. And, well, now no more talk of the failed recording, because this is where that ended.